Peel Thunder's season started off with a win at Lane Group Stadium on Good Friday against the East Fremantle Sharks. It didn't take long for Peel to get onto the scoreboard after a hit out from Fremantle Ruckman Lloyd Meek went straight to Peel's Tyrone Thorne who kicked the goal in the first minute of the game. Fremantle wingman Carl Warner was quick to show how his hard work paid off with Lloyd Meek praising his efforts. He's finally starting to get um, some reward for all the work. He's had to cram in a whole summer of work into a couple of months. Um, and yeah, I'm not surprised. He's an absolute pro with the way he goes about it and I'm sure we're going to see lots more of him to come. Warner finished the day with 31 touches and two goals. Peel started slow in the second quarter but regained the lead after kicking three goals back to back. One of which came from Nathan Wilson dashing off half back. He then kicked it to Josh Tracy inside 50 who brought the ball to the ground for his smalls to execute. They were good. Um, they were probably a bit low on supply. The mids, we well, couldn't quite in the first half get enough ball um, headed their direction. But uh, once we worked that out and sorted that out and tried to get started to get a few more clearances, the, the smalls were able to then go to work. And I think it's all uh, moving parts of the puzzle. Like the key forwards have to provide a contest to let the smalls go to work, and they did that all night. And luckily, they also got a, a lick at the end, so everyone played their role, which is what we want. East Fremantle were quick to respond, but a goal from Mitch Croden on 50 saw Peel go into the main break with a two-point lead. Peel started the third quarter with a quick goal when Connor Blakely kicked it to Joel Weston inside 50 who was able to nail the set shot. East Fremantle were able to get on top in the third and went into the final quarter up by seven points. Two skillful snaps from Croden and Tracy set the tone for Peel as they went on to take control of the game, kicking seven goals to one in the final quarter. Lloyd Meek says the turnaround came from the coach reigniting their passion. Uh, yeah, it was just reinforcing, like, it's never anything new. It's always, um, we're a process-driven club and, and team, and um, it's probably just reinforcing our, um, a bit of passion and, and the energy that we needed to get over the line. Like, as I said, the boys had a massive summer, they're all fit, so... We know that in the fourth quarter we're going to be able to stand up. It's um, purely about getting to work and I think, as I said, winning the midfield battle is a big area and then, yeah, starting to get the going our way. Peel will be looking to start their season 2-0 next week when they take on West Perth at home. Yeah,